I was living my life, minding my own business, and then everything changed. I was sitting in the back row with my mates at a Christian worship event, something similar to like you're sitting in now, to try and convince us to go to this event. The youth leaders told us they would take us for a Kentucky Fried Chicken. Now KFC in those days was a big deal. I'm showing my age here, but I had never had a Kentucky Fried Chicken before. It had just opened in Belfast. Still wavering, however, the youth leaders scrambled a bit because this wasn't convincing us still to go to the event. So they let out the secret enticement. They said to me and my mates, do you know what? There will also be girls there. Food and girls are the winning combination for me and my mates to pretty much go anywhere, even to some boring old Christian event. So me and my friends, in our shell suits now. Shell suit, picture this, MC Hammer in his shiny, flashy track suits. That's what a shell suit is. That's what we were wearing, I kid you not. And we sat in the very back row with our backs against the wall, feet up on the chairs, and we were flicking people's ears, slapping their heads and pulling the girls' hair. And then, then they started to sing songs about Jesus. And I'd never been in anything like this before. They started to sing and I started to feel this overwhelming sense of being loved. It was like this very real presence of someone else being right there with me. I couldn't hold it back. I didn't know what to do, but I had this surge of love and it just had to come out. And do you know what I did? I started to cry. Not bad tears, good tears. I really wanted to cry. But if you can imagine crying at 14 years old in front of your mates who are still flicking people's ears, it's not the cool thing to do. So I get up, I leave, I go to the restroom, I wash my face with cold water. You know, I try to catch a grip of myself. And then I head back into the auditorium. And Immediately, whenever I step into the room, they're still worshiping, boom, I am broken again. I immediately start to weep. Now I do this three or four times, I go in and out, and boy, do Christians like to sing for a long time. I didn't know that at that time. Every time I come in, they're still singing. One time I managed to sit down because I thought they had finished, but they were just chatting in between a song. They started to sing again. I had to leave right away, eventually. My mates knew there was something up, so they come to the restroom and, and they see that I've been crying. And uh, why were they not experiencing the same thing that I was experiencing? They wanted to know why I was crying. They wanted to know what was wrong. So don't worry, I had concocted a good plan. I, I had thought something up that I hoped they would believe. So I told them this, I said, look, I have got the craziest stomach cramps you could ever imagine. It might even be really bad food poisoning. And that's why I've had to run to the toilet all the time. I told them this, I told them I had the worst dose of diarrhea you could ever imagine. I know I blamed a real movement of God on a fake movement of my bowels. And do you know what? They bought it. They believed me, I got away with it. But from that moment on, from that moment, I unmistakably knew that God was real. If I could sum it up, what God was saying to me, it was this. I see you, Jasper, right where you are. Come, will you follow me? What we'd love you to do right now is Take your little tile and your pen, and in a minute, what I want you to do is write down how you see yourself. On one side of the tile, you're gonna write down how you see yourself right now, and then on the other side, what I want you to do is write down how you see, or how you think God sees you right now. So for me, back then, how I seen myself, I, I was easy going. I liked having a laugh with my friends, but actually in that moment I felt alone because my mates weren't experiencing what I was experiencing. But I was kind, I was a good mate. It's the kind of things how I see myself back then. 
and in a minute for you, you're going to do that. But then on the other side, how did God see me? How do I think God sees me? Well, well then for the first time, I felt loved. I felt loved, but, but actually was God also disappointed with me? Maybe some of you think God sees you and he's disappointed. Maybe some of you think God sees you and you're not up to much. Maybe some of you think that you're beautiful and God sees you as beautiful. What are the things that you think God sees you? So we're gonna take our time. We're gonna do that right now. On one side, how you see yourself and then on the other, how you think God sees you. We're gonna do that now. <laughs> 